How's it going everyone? Teach me grappling. Uh, today I wasn't able to uh, to get a video done in the gym, working too hard on the uh, construction. So I decided to narrate uh, Big Ben here. This was last weekend at the uh, Tournament of Champions. Nice little outside trip. This is uh, the quarterfinals match. People have been uh, watching Ben and asking. There's a nice little high crotch to a single. And kind of... Uh, Wraps around the waist and hits him with a little trip with his right leg. Very nice trip, taking him down. Ben's a pretty strong kid. I mean, his opposition is a, you know, a decent-sized kid himself, but uh, Ben's pretty athletic. So he tends to do this to most people he wrestles, but uh, this tournament presented us with some good problems. Um, we go optional start. We decide to let him go, give him the one escape. You can do that in wrestling. You can let the guy go, give him one escape so you can attack. Nice little double knee drop into a single leg. Little Again, nice little outside trip. Keeping his feet in and uh, gets the two-point takedown. So our opponent's down. Giving him a little bit of advice at this point as if he needs it. Um, again, up to this point, we... The first day, it's a 64-man bracket at Tournament of Champions. Very tough tournament in Southern California. Um, we uh, It looks like there might have been a false start right there. Or they might have heard the whistle from the neighboring uh, wrestling mat. Anyway, we cut him again. Let him have one escape. Ben Stocking looks for the underhook, head position. And what an amazing inside trip. Uh, i got to show you guys that again. Here it is. Uh, notice Ben comes in. Car tie, left hand underhook, and then look at this. He rips him to the left as he slides to the right and hooks his leg with his left leg. Uh, totally on the fly. Uh, not a move we've gone over, but uh, that's what uh, good wrestlers do every once in a while. They put things together and their body makes sense of the, uh, the physics of wrestling there. So anyway, uh, one escape. We uh, get our leg out of the way. We step back. We actually hurt our shoulder a little bit right here. So slide in on a high crotch without a tie-up. Um, hit a little spin through. Kind of come out of position. Looking for a body lock. Can't get our fingers tight together. Another little collar tie underhook. Our opponent shoots in on a high crotch. We try to crowd him using the underhook. We get caught out of position. But we're able to scramble to a sprawl and a nice little cross face. Gets us the takedown. We're rolling that wrist. Going into what's commonly called the Blair Ride, what we call the Hammer Down. Then we uh, we take the arm out behind the back. Uh, a lot of people call it Hammer Lock. We end up threading the needle, get the underhook, grab the chin, take him over to his back, and we get the fall right there in the mount. So using our grapevine hooks. So again, this was the uh, quarterfinal match of the tournament. Still relatively easy at this point, but we had some uh, tough opponents in store for the semifinals and the finals so this kid right here was actually bigger than us we're at 197s uh 195s with a two pound allowance and uh you know so both of these wrestlers were probably weighing um maybe low 200s maybe 204 maybe 205 um our opponent looks every bit of that maybe even more uh, our goal was to kind of weigh on his head tire him out so we were going to be pulling on the head you notice we've got double collar tie um again at this weight class uh yanking on the head a lot and then when we saw our opponent stand up straight right there we knew that it was having an effect and we were to continue to do it i was trying to encourage more yanking on the head more wearing him out there's a little shuck to the side but trying to stay in good position stay in a good stance look for an opportunity for a shot as we yank on his head, maybe we'll get him out of stance. We hit a nice little outside single, trying to step in the hole right here, but Ben sees the head and goes for a cradle and loses the leg control that he had as uh, our opponent kind of backs out of bounds, kind of screwed that one up. So a little bad choice going for the home run instead of just for the base hit, getting the easy takedown. Our opponent uh, this time, we take an underhook. Our opponent hits an outside single. We're wizarding, and now check this out right here. Nice little scissor takedown, and takes him right down. Illegal. Here it is again in slow-mo. Uh, opponent takes a single leg, 
And he's making an angle on us. We got the wizard. Our left, right hand is on the mat, but it's illegal by application. Nice little Kani Basami taking our opponent straight to his back, but there's no points for that in folk style. You need control. Our opponent scrambles to his knees and ends up getting the takedown on us. So he scores two. We hit a nice little quick reversal, catch an underhook, slide out behind him, throwing him by. And now it's two to two. So good exchange. It's funny. The uh, the referee must have looked at it and went. We're working on a chick wing right now. But uh, referee must have saw it and went, oh, my gosh. I can't believe he just did that. Because that move is legal in freestyle wrestling, but illegal in folk style wrestling. So it's illegal by application. So I, I talked to some of the referees about it, the possibility of us having our hand down. It, some referees might say that it's not illegal. There is a point where you could do it on the mat, but uh, they they basically told me illegal by application. So uh, just doing the move, doing the move itself is uh, not to be done. So either way, it was a really cool technique. And uh, next period here, two to two match. We choose down. They deferred to us, and Ben's got to get an escape. Tie score. We look like we're tripoding. We try to crowd him, stepping over his leg. Um, ben loves the Grambies, so the guy's kind of hanging on on the side of us. He chops us, and we roll right into a Gramby. Get a nice little escape. Beautiful Gramby roll for a 195er. Back into the car ties. Lots of hanging on the head. Um, you know, a lot of driving in. You know, we we've, we've gotten in really good shape. Uh, little attempt at an outside single. Our opponent shoots. We look to get a go behind, but our right foot steps out of bounds. Ben is pleading with the ref, trying to say my feet are in bounds, but the referee saw our right foot step out, so he did not award the takedown. So, wish we would have had better position. Now, in the in the college sport of wrestling, you know, for college, it's uh, as long as you have anything in bounds in the cylinder of the circle. It will count, but in high school, you've got to have two supporting points inbounds. We get a little struggle right here. Our opponent has an underhook. Ben tries to crowd him. They go out of bounds in the dogfight position. Ben tried to crowd him with a uh, with the wizard and tried to step over him. It's very dangerous to do that. I was uh, pretty upset that he would take that kind of risk in such a close match, three to two. Uh, anyway, but uh, sometimes high re high risk. I reward, but uh, it also means you could blunder and throw the match away. So anyway, uh, back to it. We're hanging on that head. We look for a shot when our opponent's head comes up, but unsuccessful. Our opponent's got double underhooks. We're playing double overs with a lock. And now we're bearing our head. We're really trying to set up for an inside trip. And we decided against that. Our head was not in good position for the technique. Changing the tie, back to pulling on the head. Notice our opponent's coming out of stance. We can tell he's winded. We're starting to wear on him. Again, Ben, uh, like the other kids on our team, uh, they're doing 800 squats in a row so that we can stay in a good wrestling stance. So uh, we're in shape. We're in shape. So we definitely work hard, and uh, we like these types of matches. Uh, this was a good challenge for us. And uh, we're happy to meet that challenge and get after it. So, again, more pulling on the head. Maybe not the most exciting match. We look for a shot. Our opponent yanks our head around a little bit, but we got great balance. More pulling on the head, more snapping. End of the period. Going into the third period, our opponent's going to choose down. Three to two. He's got to get his one escape to tie this match up. Ben's on top. Guy tripods. We're chopping. We got some wrist control, keeping heavy pressure. We have what we call the Iowa ride with our right ankle. We are hooking his ankle, his left ankle with our right ankle. So that helps give you some good control by hooking that. A little dangerous for jiu-jitsu. You, you may fall into knee bar situations, having your leg uh, or your opponent's leg between yours. But uh, for wrestling, it's really good control. We decide to try to set a hook in, kind of falls out. We're looking for stuff. We have a, a two-on-one. 
It's two of our hands on our opponent's left arm. Again, more Iowa ride. Uh, trying to control that ankle, little ankle hook. We lose it. We're chopping, switching sides. Trying to keep our opponent's head in the mat. We throw in a left boot or left hook. Uh, a lot of times in wrestling, they call them the boots. And we've secured control of our opponent's left leg. That's going to help keep him flat while we work for a pinning combination. Uh, we've got him flat. He's trying to get out. Uh, referee's kind of thinking about it, going, oh, maybe you're staying behind. Maybe you're using this leg ride just as a way to hold your opponent, which uh, I'm sure that was a little bit of Ben's plan. So time sticking down, about 30 seconds left. And our opponent, or our referee, decides to stop the match and call us for stalling. So it's putting us in a little bit of a bad spot. If we get hit with stalling again, it will tie the match. So at 3-2, to two, it's a little bit of a nail-biter for us. Closest match we've had all season. Our opponent tries to grab me, but we hooked his leg. And now we're hooking up a chicken wing right here. We lose it. Our opponent tripods, he's got to get one escape to send this into overtime. We're able to break him down, pull his wrist back behind his back, suck in another chicken wing, get that forward wrist, and now we get on the side. We want to go forward pressure, shoulder it in the ear, and our opponent goes to his back, but he fights off as quick as he can. But it was long enough to get a two count, and that's going to give us two points and the win uh, with a 5-3 to three, or 5-2 to two win, sending us to the finals against Poway. So here's our opponent from Poway. It's our first time in the finals. Last year we were third at this tournament and um, we want to win it this year. So Ben's getting after it. Lots of aggressive, aggressive wrestling, head tapping or even slapping. Uh, these guys are going to get after it. So not the most exciting match. A lot of tying up, a lot of heavy man pushing and pulling and slapping. They're getting pretty rough right now. There's another hard slap from Ben. Um, again, it's getting borderline. The referee needs to say something. They're getting out of control. But it's also exciting to watch. So, um, you know, as a coach, I'm just trying to keep my wrestler focused. Um, I don't want him to lose his cool. I want him to win with good, hard wrestling. Um, you know, we don't need to cheat to win. But... Uh, you know, the, the emotions run high and, you know, when uh, your opponent's slapping you in the neck or in the head, it can kind of piss you off. We get in on a single leg and we step in the hole, hit a nice little limp arm and collect the first two points of the match. So we're setting our ride now. Again, trying to stick a left hook in. Rolling those wrists. Looking for wrist control. Our opponent's very well trained from the... Uh, very famous high school down in San Diego County uh, called Poway. Okay, Poway is always a national powerhouse team. Uh, they win this tournament just about every year they come. So they're multiple times CI champs, and uh, they've won a couple state titles as a team. They're always in the top five in state. Um, they haven't been able to win it lately, but um, they're uh, – you know, we, we, we also have several, California has several nationally ranked teams. Uh, this year, I believe, we have more in the top 25 than any other state. So usually Pennsylvania is considered uh, probably the top state in the U.S. But um, as far as density, uh, California's got uh, more uh, higher ranked schools. We may not have the best schools, but uh, we have more. So... Looks like uh, they defer. We choose down. Score is two to zero. So we just need to get our one escape, you know. Try to stand up, try to get away, try to chain wrestle. If we can get a reversal, we'll certainly take it. We tripod up, look for some hand control, peel him off, and our opponent lets us go. He feels our strength and uh, uh, the our ability to escape and just lets us go. He doesn't want to tangle. So... 3-0, we're head-to-head uh, -head with our opponent. Our opponent's doing a good job of not letting us get the collar tie. So with his left hand, he's grabbing our neck really well. So we're forced to be on the outside with the overtie. Again, getting very aggressive here. Uh, lots of pushing and pulling and snapping. 
Um, this is where they're going to get a little out of control coming up. So you're going to get to see Ben do a little, you know, big bear swipe um, at our opponent. But our opponent kind of started it. But either way, here it comes. They're in a uh, in some collar tie-up. And our opponent hits a little slide by, he's, or pass by. He's trying to slide us by. And that way he can get behind us here. We break ties, but then check this out. Our opponent with a big right hand. Wham! Ben swings right back with a right hand of his own. And let's show you again in slow motion. This is not cool, guys. Um, but look at the big right hand from our opponent. Bam! On the back of the head. Ben, out of anger, swings right back. And they both get their cool. Our opponent definitely probably got the worst end of that. But uh, referee now has a talk with him, as he should. Um, I definitely wouldn't have been surprised if we would have been penalized. We were the one that retaliated. Um, our opponents definitely wanted a one-point penalty for that big slap. And there's a lot of referees that probably would have given it. Notice the both wrestlers shake hands. They both understand. They have respect for each other. They just got excited. Nice little slide-by attempt by our opponent. But uh, Ben recovers. Um, when, when he slides this by, we kind of run forward, just running away, and then turn our angle. There it is again. And uh, re-square up. That way he doesn't have an angle to get to our back or get a shot going. Another hard slap from uh, our opponent. And uh, we both want to get after it. You know, both kids want this so bad. I'm sure he trains just as hard as we do. And, uh, you know, we're, we're both wanted this. This is the finals. See that little wrist break? Uh, he was grabbing our wrist. There's Ben. Another slide by. We turn right back in and shoot. And time expires in the second period. Nice little attack, but we were definitely too far out. Nice explosive quick attack, but just a little too far away for our opponent. He sprawled on us. So last period, they choose neutral. They're down 3-0. Ben knows he's got two minutes to wrestle. He's got to keep it all together and keep attacking. So definitely won't, don't want to hang back. You hang back in a wrestling match, it's just not a good idea. Most of the time, our, your opponent's going to smell the blood and come after you. So you want to try to stay aggressive. Keep doing the things that uh, made you successful in the first place. So, again, not the most exciting match, but... Definitely, uh, for us in the corner, it was uh, a little bit of a nail biter. So lots of lots of rough wrestling in the ties, head to head, lots of snaps. Again, at this level where you have uh, you know 197s, you're you're not going to have the quickest low single shots usually. You will at, with some guys, but most of the time it's a lot of hand fighting, a lot of brawling. So. They're going to brawl a little bit more later as the match comes to a close. But um, more wrestling. Our opponent shoots, and we hit a nice little sprawl and a nice little go behind. So kind of putting us in a nice comfortable position, 5-0. Checking the half Nelsons, keeping the head pressure on our opponent, trying to keep him down. You know, But our opponent definitely feels he's got to do something. Hits a nice little sit-out. We're back in. He's on his base. We're pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. But our opponent gets a leg up, gets his head up, and hips out and gets a nice little escape, making it 5-1. to one. Again, another slide-by attempt. Ben's dealing with it. And then now we get warned for stalling. So we know we got to keep wrestling. We don't want to get called for stalling. We, we definitely, I don't want my kids ever getting called, even though we could afford the one point for the stalling call. Um, you know, I'm trying to keep him aggressive and confident. So check this out right here. Uh, kid kind of snaps us and maybe hit us in the face. Ben runs at him and head butts him. And goes for some underhooks. Our, uh, our opposing coach uh, of our opponent is screaming that we're hitting him, punching him. But you can see here, again, our he kind of slapped us and kind of came in. And then headbutts, underhook, underhook, underhook. But we also slam him right into the gate. And that is a steel gate right there. Uh, it's not even a gate. It's like a fence. It's very thick metal. It is hard. And definitely I did not argue with the ref right here. Ref gives an unsportsmanlike 
uh, or excuse me, unnecessary roughness call, which gives our opponent a uh, a one point, and uh, that makes it five to two, and uh, a little more brawling, a little bit more tying up, and time expires and we get the win. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys like this uh, narrated wrestling for Ben. Uh, see you guys later.